What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreak.com. We just sold out 2022 Panini Absolute Football 20 box blaster case break RT number two. Yeah, guys, everybody gets a random team in the NFL. All cards ship. 20 boxes per case, six packs per box, 11 cards per pack. Chasing some kabooms. So here's the rest of the customers in here. Round got their remaining spots there. And uh, let's get this rolling, guys. So again, we'll roll the dice right here. And. Uh, Anonymize the names and teams. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ron down to Ron. Chargers out of the bills. Ah, uh, I don't think so, man. First printed, last printed is not really a real big thing. People like to say that, type it up, but the only time where you can get a little bit more money for your value is if it's like a jersey number. Even then, some people don't really care for that anymore. All right, Ron. So Chargers. All the way down here, and I'm just going to alphabetize my customer names so you guys can see your names. So, Micah with the Saints, Omar with the Colts, Petrit with the Titans, and then Ron all the way with the rest of them. Uh, sure, prime time. I have this. Wait, wait, what did you sell out? Uh, yeah, I, I can schedule this later. I mean, it, it's going to be recorded regardless, prime time, but yeah, if you want to wait till later, just let me know. I just might have a schedule. But yeah, I, I can do it. I, I can do it whenever you whenever you can. Right now, after this, guys, there's nothing sold out. So I mean, I can do it right after this in about an hour. Um, and then, unless something else sold out, I don't know if something else sold out. But I have to go to like five orders. But yeah, I won't be able to do anything until like five forty-five. So if you if you're cool with it at that time frame, I can. Like I said, I'm recording it regardless, though. So. All right, Deacons, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll create one if I have to. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I don't want to make one, and then you also get one cent, and then... <laughs> I mean, good for you. You're going to get double them, but... <laughs> I messaged her. Because if I remember correctly, we had it set up like that, like the way it is on jazpies.com, where it automatically fulfills one for you, and, like, we don't have to do anything. So I'll tell her to change it back to those settings if, there's, if that's something we can do, because that'll, <laughs> that'll definitely make it... Much easier. So yeah, uh, prime time, if, if you want to come back later and do it then, if not, like I said, I'll push it back if I don't see you in the chat or you tell me. Because it looks like that also sold out with Ron selling out uh, Top Scrum Block, so. 
that is the case, we can just put top scrum black before your break. All right, well, I don't think there's going to be any trades, guys, so. I only read like the first couple, but I kind of cheated honestly. I started watching the movies. Are they worth it? Yeah, of course, dude. Okay. Definitely great to binge. I'm I've already binged this, like ten times. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm redoing it again technically. I'm but have to watch it. I just never knew about it. It got more. It's more kid. Well, obviously it's nothing crazy, crazy, but the first couple are more kid stuff. But then like, as they get older, it gets more dark. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'll have to check it out. All right, here we go. Yeah, I did see that, Rex. It won't be back till like June or July. I mean, he's a little bit on the older side now, so I mean, I don't know how much we really could expect from him as much now, I guess. But I mean, as long as he's healthy at the right time for the Rangers, I'm sure, that's all that matters. Oh my God, I've never done blasters. Absolute. Sorry, little Christmas. Uh, scooch on over. Yeah, more more stuff came out today with Otani stuff. So he offered that same contract to all the teams that he was interested in signing with the Giants, uh, the Angels. Uh, I forget who else he was uh, offered it to, but. The Angels were the only ones that said no to the contract. Artie Moreno was like, nah. Imagine that. Artie Moreno was like, nah. To Otani. And then he said one of the main reasons why he signed with the Dodgers was when the Dodgers were pitching him that these last 10 years, even though they've made the playoffs the last 10 years, been to a couple World Series, won at least one, it was considered a failure. In their eyes. And Otani said, yep, they're all about winning. They're all about winning. So that was the main reason why he said. And also today it came out that the Dodgers unle un unleashed a, a old six-year-old video. I, I think he did offer it. He offered it to every single club that he was interested in. So if the Cubs met with him, he got offered that too. Uh, they, they unleashed a, a video during his... Uh, during the trying to sign process, a six-year-old video of Kobe Bryant back in 2017 uh, trying to get Otani to come to the Dodgers the first time around. And I guess it was never before seen. They didn't show it to Otani in 2017. So Otani was very starstruck and shocked that they had a video archive of Kobe Bryant trying to recruit him to come to the Dodgers. And he said that was the highlight of his his Dodgers meeting right there. So that that was freaking awesome.
He said that he called the Kobe Bryant video the highlight of his career, but a highlight of the of the mix, but um, but I think he said that the main reason why he signed with the Dodgers was the whole. If you thought the last ten years was a failure, then man, you really want to win. Because I'm pretty sure Otani thought, what? You think the last 10 years, Dodgers are a failure? Making the playoffs every single year, going to multiple World Series, at least winning one, even though it was a COVID one? I mean, shit, I was with the Angels for six years and we didn't do anything. I thought that was considered a failure. <laughs> I mean, if you put it in that perspective, Otani was like, damn. All right, guys, let's go with the first five boxes here. I don't know, kind of skim through these guys, because honestly, really, we're just looking for the kabooms and looking for really the foils in this. Whoa. Sam Hell Relic. Exactly, Rex. What, what does it matter when the Dodgers found out about the Astros cheating? years later it doesn't change the fact of anything everybody freaking cheats man you ain't cheating you ain't trying man except some players some people get caught some of them don't Let's get a kaboom. There's a Sam Howell. Maybe that's why he had the best year of his career, man. He knew what was coming. Sauce. Even Hutchinson relic. The Troy Lions going around. Sam Howell. Hey, hey, Evan. Hey, Evan. 
have a pee bag and a monster box when you get a chance? A monster box when you get a chance? Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think after a while, I mean, honestly, if you, you, I, look at it, MLB players probably watch film just like any other sport. I'm rooting for you guys. We got nothing in our gates. Oh, yeah, this, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be rough if there is no kabooms, right? I mean, yeah. for the most part. Yeah, we ain't gonna... Do you get autographs? Or yes, just we relics? Did. We did. We got uh, five autographs. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. They weren't actually that bad either. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure MLB players watch film just like NBA players do, football players do. So I think after a while, man, you could catch people's little, you know, what do they call it? They're, uh, they're kind of tells, right? Oh, he kind of lifts his arm to the left or to the right or lowers his arm when he's going to throw a curve or, you know, touches his hat. I don't know. At the end of the day, it still takes some. It still takes somewhat of a talent to hit home runs and time pitches, honestly. Even if you know what's coming, because it's not like the curveball or the or the or the the off speed pitch is gonna land in the same spot every single time. I have a kaboom right there in that first stack.
All right, here we go, guys. Maybe it's that other. What's the other uh, version now that they have a kabooms? They have a. What's the other short print they have? I think it's one of those. That's right, explosives. That's what it is. There we go. George Kittle. That's a suit. That's a short print as well. There you go, 49ers. Wester on the board, buddy. Crystal Lave. Jalen Tolbert for the Cowboys. Gonna run. And then we got a Channing Tindell. To 149 or 449, Alec Pierce for the uh, Colts going to Omar. David Ajabo autograph there for the Ravens going to Western. Alright guys, well, 
first 10 boxes, I don't really know what to expect because it's my first time riveted, but we did still get one, two, three, four, five rookie relics, one autograph, and then one case hit explosive, uh, explosive Kittle. Now, Evan said he didn't get any kabooms or anything like that in the case they did on Fanatics Live last weekend, but did get five autographs, so maybe still doing some autos here. Like I said, obviously it's a retail blaster, not a hobby box, so no guarantees of anything, but... So that's why we're kind of just skimming through the base. Also, they have some of the, like, chrome or, you know... Uh, what would you call it? The um, foil paper of some of the bigger rookies, but... Kind of just going to skim through those. But everything does ship, though, guys, so don't worry. All right, here we go, five more boxes here.
Trayvon Walker. Snoop Connor to four ninety nine. Jaguars going around. And a Channing Tindall autograph to thirty five. Dolphins going around. All right, guys, last five here.
Alrighty guys, there you go. Last five boxes here. Trayvon Walker for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And also, D comes. I got a message back from Marin. Let's see if, uh, if it auto generated for you now. All right, last three boxes here. David Bell, wide receiver, to four ninety nine, and Drake London. Falcons going to Ron. Ooh, gold. Nice out of 25. Khalil Shakur. That's pretty awesome. And an AJ Brown relic there.
Alrighty guys, so again, a couple of numbered cards here. I just kind of talked about some of the bigger rookie quarterbacks, stuff like that. Sleeved up, I should say. And then here are all the relics. So we got an A.J. Brown relic, Drake London, Trayvon Walker. We have one autograph, Channing Tindall, Walker, Jalen Tolbert, Olave, Mechie, Hutchinson, Sam Howell, David Ojabo. And then we did get one of those super short print explosives, George Kittles. No kaboom, but an explosive, which is something. Uh, autograph wise, I mean, we only got two, but we got a lot of relics, so I guess that kind of was the makeup for that. So appreciate it, guys. That was uh, absolute case break number two. Jaspies, casebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.